What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to identify and throw the quadratic surfaces of the given function. And here we have this one y square is equal to x square plus c square over 9. Now first of all before we do this problem we have to know the standard forms. And we have to match the standard form that is suitable for this one. And here we have a list of standard forms and shapes. And if you compare this with this one here we have to have a value that is outside of this equal sign and has to be positive and also we had to have three variables and all of them has to be square right and let's compare with this one the first one we have x square plus y square c square all of them we have three variables but if you bring one of them outside of this equal sign that's going to be negative right so that's not matching with this one and if you look at the second one that is matching with this one x square y square z square and uh, so the shape is going to be gone. Now let's compare with this one with the other one too. And cylinder we have only two variables x and y. We don't have the one more variable. So this one doesn't match. And if you look at this one here we have x square plus y square but c doesn't have square. So this one also doesn't match. And if you look at the last one also we don't have square also we have a negative sign. So the suitable standard equation is going to be gone and also this is in standard form because it's not shifted when you have shifted you will have negative or positive square something like that right so we don't have shifted this is in origin so we can draw this one and also one more thing to notice that here if you notice this one this is z square right here outside of this one here we have y square and also if you notice this one this cone shape is along the z axis right z axis and uh, that's how it's look like so since we have z square this is the cone shape is along the z axis but here we have y square so the cone shape we are going to have is going to be along the y axis and also since we have z square over 9 what's going to happen is we are going to have ellipse shape that is going to be parallel to z axis elongated parallel to z axis now let's go ahead and draw our graph okay now we are ready to draw our graph okay let's say this is our z axis and this is our y axis and this is our x axis okay and we have seen that uh, this is going to be open in the the, the cone shape is going to be along the y axis since we have y square outside of this equal sign so we are going to draw uh, ellipse that is parallel to z axis because it's since we have 9 over this side that's going to be an ellipse par parallel to z axis right ellipse parallel to z axis and uh, the cone is going to be along the y axis and we have we are going to have this one both side of this so we are going to have this cone in the other side too. So if you draw this one in the other side, we are going to have another ellipse parallel to z axis and also a cone like this. And that's how the shape of this function is going to look like. And that's how we draw quadric surface for these kind of equations. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.